Hi, and welcome to Miss Dessert Junkie. Today on my cooking show, we're going to be doing something that is in this kitchen. And special shout out goes to Cooking with Karma. Thanks for letting me use your kitchen there, Anna. Today I'm going to show you how to make some Meraki Road. It's really simple. You need some basic core ingredients and the first one is marshmallows. Now I'm adding around 250 grams of marshmallows and I like to cut them in half because I like my Rocky Road not to just be marshmallow. I want to get a good even amount of all the different fillings I'm going to put in. Next is putting in some soft, soft jubes I should say. Now these are covered in a sugar which is awesome because when you eat the Rocky Road you get a sort of hit of sugar within your chocolate so it you know plays with your taste buds. Next is some peanuts. Now you can use peanuts, you can use cashews, you can use almonds, essentially whatever you like. Of course, if you have a nut allergy, don't put this in here, but go with the nuts that are salty because then you'll get a salt hit. So you've got the sugar and you've got the salt inside this Rocky Road. It is going to be amazing. Next thing I'm going to add is some Cocoa Pops or Rice crispy Treats as you Americans know them. Um, now you can just use the ones without the coating of chocolate, but this is what I have. I'm going to be adding around a cup and a half of these to the mixture and now it's time to prepare the chocolate. Now into a bowl, I'm going to show you how to do a bay marie essentially is I've got around 20 grams of butter and I'm adding around 375 of dark chocolate and about half of that of milk chocolate. And I'm just using these uh, milk chocolates that you use that you can do in a stove or in a microwave. Personally, I don't like the microwave. I always seem to burn chocolate and split it. So I find when I'm using a Bay Marie, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Essentially what you need is a pot and you need the pot to be able to hold the bowl without sort of falling in because you don't want the hot water that you're about to put in there and boil to touch. So I've got some very hot water there, very close to boiling. I'm going to place the chocolate on top and slowly, slowly work it with a spatula until it combines and melts. Now, if you find that it's getting way too hot too quickly, quickly take it off the stove, plunge it in some cold water, but it is a gradual process. Make sure that you keep the water uh, not touching the bottom of the bowl and be aware that when you do take it off, it will still continue to melt. So, you know, if it's just about there like it is here, take it off because it will be a matter of time before the rest of the hot chocolate melts, the leftover melts in the chocolate. Now here comes the very tricky part guys, because the chocolate is hot, you're going to need to pour this on your filling while it's still hot. I would not recommend using your hands as the chocolate is hot and it can burn you. So continue using your spatula, pour your chocolate over and work as quick as you can because it will also melt your marshmallows and anything else that you put in there that is pretty heat sensitive. Also a good tip when you're trying to like fold all this in and you want to coat the filling topping as much as you can with the chocolate is use a folding action like you would be putting uh, egg whites into a mixture slowly fold work it back slowly fold work it back and it will be all covered in no time here I have a medium size high tray and I've lined it with some parchment paper or baking paper and I'm just going to throw the rocky road on there now you can leave it rustic and funky edged you can smooth it all out line it to the edge so it's a perfect square whatever you want to do up to you probably the best advice I can say is leave it in the fridge as tempting as it is for at least two hours to set firm uh, if you can leave it overnight even better uh, you do need to keep this in an airtight container as well and of course if you live in Australia heat can also melt this bad boy so just be careful if you are storing it outside of the fridge there you have it doesn't it look fantastic you've got the tubes you've got the rice krispies it's going to be amazing.